Welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you work abroad, a vessel that flies ocean waters, you are at risk for developing hypothermia, a dangerous condition in which body temperatures drops below 95 degrees. Maritime workers are at greater risk than workers in most other types of industries of developing hypothermia. Cold working condition, along with the risk of falling overboard into cold waters, mean that seamen are often in danger of becoming hypothermic on the job. What is hypothermia? Hypothermia is a lowered body temperature. Normal body temperature is 98.6 degrees and anything less than 95 degrees is considered hypothermia. Exposure to cold water and cold weather and being immersed in cold water are the main causes of hypothermia. Depending on the air or water temperature, the time it takes to reach a state of hypothermia varies. Mild hypothermia, which includes having a body temperature around 95 degrees, is characterized by shivering, fast breathing, fatigue, difficulty speaking, hunger, dizziness, and increased heart rate and confusion. Moderate to severe hypothermia with a body temperature of 95 degrees or lower can cause shivering to stop, which may be confusing. Symptoms of moderate to severe hypothermia include slow speech, confusion, drowsiness, shallow breathing, a weak pulse, and loss of consciousness. Hypothermia can be very serious and if it not treated, can be fatal or may cause other complications. This may include frostbite, the freezing of tissues in the body. If frostbite goes untreated, it can lead to the death and decay of tissues or gangrene. Gangrenous tissues typically need to be amputated. Treating hypothermia. The main goals of treating hypothermia is to bring the body temperature up to normal. If you suspect you are suffering from hypothermia on the job, you need to seek treatment immediately. First aid care for hypothermia includes getting to a warm place and using coverings and heat sources to warm the body. If you are suffering from hypothermia from a fall of a bird, you will need to remove your wet clothing in order to get warmer. Warm compresses, blankets, and warm beverages can all help to elevate the body temperature. If you have access to medical professional and the proper equipment for treatment, there are medical procedures that can be used to treat hypothermia. These include blood rewarming or withdrawing and warming blood and then recirculating it through the body. Oxygen can also be used to rewarm the airways and warm intravenous fluids may be injected to the warm body. And then preventing hypothermia in maritime conditions. Seamen are more at risk for hypothermia than workers in other industries. But this condition can be prevented with proper precautions. The first aid good safety training. Your employer should provide workers with training in both preventing hypothermia and in giving first aid for this condition. You should also be provided with the correct protective gear for the conditions in which you work and with plenty of break time to warm up periodically during the shift. If falling off a board is a risk, you should be provided with a whistle so you can be located and rescued quickly. Negligence and hypothermia. Maritime work is inherently dangerous and hypothermia is easier to get than you think. In spite of the risk, your employer has the responsibility to take all reasonable measures to prevent hypothermia in employees. Any failure to provide your safety training, education about hypothermia, 
first aid training, safety and protective gear, or rescue training for falls of a board could be considered negligence if you develop hypothermia on the job. The next discussion is about hypothermia and your rights. Hypothermia may be, may be melt and if treated immediately may cause no lasting damage. However, hypothermia can be fatal if severed and untreated. It can cause lasting damage in the form of frosted bite and amputation. If you have to miss any work because of hypothermia, pay for medical treatment or suffer lasting damage, you are entitled to compensation. Various maritime laws are in place to ensure this. Maintenance and cure entitles you to medical treatment as well as living expenses for the time period when you cannot work due to your illness or injury. If you qualify as a seaman and your employer's negligence caused you to develop hypothermia, the Jones Act can help you to get compensation for lost wages, medical expenses, future lost ability to earn wages, and for pain and suffering. And there are also federal workers' compensation program for non seamen working in the maritime industry. If you get suffered from hypothermia on the job, know your rights and make sure you get the compensation you are owed for your injuries, lost wages, and suffering. A lawyer experience in helping maritime workers make claim under federal law can guide you through the process, help you decide which law applies to you, and give you the best chance of recovering damages. I think that's all guys the information that I can say to you. I hope this can help you and if you need information about maritime law or any information about maritime topics, you are in the right channel. This is this channel, we talk about it a lot. And if you guys want us to talk about or discuss about the information that you need about maritime topics, you can drop your comment below in the comment section and later when we have a chance we will talk about it. And if you guys uh, have a question, you can also drop your question in the comment section. And later, when we have the answer or when we have a time, we will answer your questions here. And also, don't forget to share this information to your friends, family, and your loved one. Maybe they need the information about maritime topics. It means you already helped them to get through their problem. I think that's all the information that I can share to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give like. Comment and subscribe. Bye bye. See you in another video.